Hello again. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about this uh, system that I'm using to mount the shifter in the truck. Uh, it uses some material that's called 8020, which is aluminum channel. Uh, it's an engineered product. It's got a lot of different features in it. Uh, T-slots on all four sides for uh, T-nuts to run in and there are a lot of different brackets, fastening options, uh, braces and things that uh, can be used with this product. So that's what the shifter is mounted on in the truck, but you can see it was kind of flopping all around. So the next thing is to figure out how to mount this 8020 solidly inside the chassis of the truck. One of the neat features of this stuff is that it has a hole that runs all the way through it that is perfectly sized to cut 5 sixteenths by 18, that's a national course threads. So that's what I'm doing right here, just threading the inside of a piece of this 8020, and then I'm gonna use these little chassis tabs, which are uh, little tabs that are used to attach things to roll cages. So like I've got it to uh, attach some shielding, some uh, aluminum sheet on the inside to, to keep the elbows in and not abrade against things. Uh, very handy little preformed chassis tabs. So what I'm going to do is cut threads in the end of this 8020 and then I'll have to drill out the hole in this chassis tab a little bit and I don't know how well we'll be able to see it in the video but the inside of this the hole in the center will be tapped for a 5 16th 18. I'll drill a 5 16th hole that's a quarter inch now open it up and then this piece will bolt right through there's just a little bit of clearance on the bottom and then I'll weld this chassis tab to parts of the roll cage at the rear and then onto a piece of flat steel plate towards the front of this rail these 8020 rails so I'll probably have to shorten the 8020 rail a little bit but then the entire shifter will bolt to this 8020 on the top and it'll be able to slide forward and backward a little bit uh, to get it right where the driver's hand wants to be for the shifter and also to get the cables in the right location. So that's just a little tech tip talking about what I'm going to do with this 8020 channel and some chassis tabs. That's all for now.